Ah, oh. all right. You guys know that pain. That means you have might have hip impingement. If you do, you're gonna feel that catching, pinching sensation when you're trying to squat, especially if you're a hockey player, a lacrosse player, a lot of rotation sport. If you're dealing with that pain, I'm gonna give you three exercises to help improve that right now. All right, so with hip impingement, you know you have a ball and socket joint and you have tons of muscle innovating your hip flexor, your external rotator, hip extensor. So with that happen, when you get impingement, that means you just really tighten the capsule. So I'm gonna show you the first exercise to actually loosen that up so you have more range of motion. So you go squat, skate, run, you can actually have less pain or no pain at all. Okay, so you're gonna get a band. You're gonna put it right in the crease of your thigh and you're gonna get a little box here. And all you're gonna do, you're gonna do a nice pigeon pose. Notice that I keep the band at 45 degrees. So if you like the pigeon stretch, this is gonna be great because the band's actually gonna help you pull your hips out that way so you get a better stretch. So once you station yourself in this position, all I want you to do is just rotate through. As you rotate, you feel more stretch in the back of your hips, okay guys? So when you feel the back hip stretch, you're gonna slowly rotate back up and rotate back down. We do eight to 12 times here. And when you're done with this, another thing you can do is do some squat tests. You can squat afterwards to see how your hips feel. And every time I gave this to my patient, they feel significantly better, almost less pain. And obviously we do this on both sides. Couple more. Great. So when you're done with that one, you can do it on the other side on your own for two sets. Okay, the next one is gonna be a stretch as well as a strengthening exercise. So we're gonna get a nice box. You can actually put your foot on top. The stretching leg is gonna be the back leg. So we wanna stretch this hip right here that we just worked on, okay? All I want you guys to do is make sure you have 90 degrees right here and you're gonna bend this back knee 90 degrees as well. And you're gonna come down nice and slow, like a five second descend. We're gonna hold. If you do this right, you feel this hip opening up and you should feel your front glutes loading. And we're gonna hold this here. After five seconds, you're gonna come up and then five second downs again. So you feel a nice stretch, hold. Make sure you're not arching your back, you're tucking your tailbone, hold. Come back up. And you're gonna pose this for like five times, okay? So five second hold, five times. Two more here. Then two more. And one more. And up. Notice that my legs are shaking. That means it's got a really nice stretch. And you can do this on the other side as well. Same thing. Load the front leg. Five seconds down, nice stretch. Notice I'm only put maybe 40% of my weight here, 60% of my weight back here. Because we're sitting a lot throughout the day, this muscle really needs to get stretched. So we're stretching your hip flexor, your quads. Hold. Two more. And one more. Awesome. Let's get to the next exercise. All right, so the last exercise, we're gonna activate those hip external rotators. Actually, when you activate them, they're gonna give you more space in your hips so you can move a lot better. So we're gonna come here, little side planks, arms down. I like to keep my knee bends at first. And the key to this is to push away, make sure your hip is coming forward like so. Once you feel the bottom hip activated, we we'll to slowly kick the top leg up, hold that there so we get both hips at the same time. We're gonna reach up, slowly come on down, drive back up. Similar to the first exercise, so a lot of rotation here. So we get the hips working. Notice as I come up, I fully extend my hip forward. There you go. And we wanna go sets of 15 here, guys. Work those stabilities, muscles right there. And again, we're gonna go three to four sets. Uh, 
I'll do a few more. Great, and I'll demonstrate the other side. Same thing. Get this right here, get your hips up. Remember, activate those hips, push away, legs up. Reach down, rotate, bring that hip forward. There you go. Couple more here. You should feel your hips burning when you're doing it. As well as your obliques. All right guys, that's it for our exercises. I hope you feel a lot better, especially with that hip impingement. So that way you can go squat, skate, run with no pain. If you're new to this channel, please like and subscribe and share this video. And if you want more exercises, we have hip strengthening exercises right over here. And if you need lower body warm-up exercises, we have it over here. I'll see you next time.